this is Artifacts of Mars. And in Wisconsin, in a place called Janesville, six protesters were arrested and could face trespassing, disorderly conduct, and obstructing an officer charges after dozens initially entered the Holiday Inn Express on Monday evening as part of an anti-Donald Trump protester. Protest. Uh, these are the American Sandinista communists again. They're not the same uh, Sandinistas as uh, the ones in Nicaragua or or, but they are of the exact same mentality, exact same political structure. Janesville Police Sergeant Mike Blazer said police gave protesters several opportunities to move out of the building without being arrested, but they refused. I think tonight is just an indication of a smaller scale of what we might see tomorrow, Blazer said. We've been playing for several days and have assets on the ground to help us manage whatever size crowd we do get here tomorrow. So the American Sandinistas are planning to move in on uh, Trump, which is nothing new, of course. Trump is scheduled to speak at the Holiday Inn at 4 p.m. Tuesday. Six protesters arrested would not identify themselves before booking, Blazer said. They had joined hands instead of inside of PVC piping and may have also been handcuffed inside the piping. The protesters used professional tactics. This is a George Soros group, including having their own medic on the scene. Their members are showing up for racial justice and groundwork mass in groups. Protesters entered the building at 6.30 p.m. Rock County Sheriff's deputies were helping Janesville police separate them about 9.30 p.m. Hotel staff was not allowing anyone else inside the hotel unless they were guests after the initial entrance of the protesters. A state assembly representative was among the 60 or so protesters who occupied the lobby. Most of the protesters left the lobby after being asked, but six remained. Melissa Sargent a Democratic representative for the American Sandinistas to the State Assembly from the Madison area was among those inside. We're calling on, we're here to call on the Holiday Inn to take a stand against hate, Sergeant said. You, madam, are a liar and a disgrace. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. Not everyone supported what the president Protesters were doing. A Rhode Island man who only gave his first name of Mike, saying he feared social media reprisal if he gave his full name, said he was in Janesville on Monday night for business. He said he was undecided about whom he planned to vote for, but he wasn't in support of the protesters' tactics. Good. I had no idea this was happening, Mike said, but it's repulsive that the hotel and let these people in. It's making a mess for People are trying to check in. People should be out in their designated area, and not disrupt normal, not disrupting normal people. I agree. An organizer told me that earlier the Monday protest was last ditch effort to convince the hotel and or the city to cancel Trump's appearance in order to prevent violence. That is a threat, and they should be arrested right there. Go to jail. Hotels owners on Monday issued a statement saying they will not cancel. Good. Kristen Blatt, Brock, Petrosius of Masson, a member of Standing Up for Racial Justice, so the group has been working with local organizers of the anti-Trump demonstration set for Tuesday outside Janesville Conference Center and part of the hotel. Brock Petrosius, I'm probably butchering that, uh, said local organizers have received death threats and Monday's protest was an effort to avoid 
any bloodshed that might be caused by Trump supporters, that is a lie. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. It's not Trump supporters that are causing problems, it's the American Sandinistas. Nicole Mithness, one of the organizers of Tuesday's protest, confirms she has received death threats and other comments threatening violence. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. <sighs> Mitness said she and others have been deleting the threats made on protesters' Facebook page by capping them and sharing them with police. Mitness said Trump supporters have all also accused her of being paid to organize today's Tuesday's protest, which is not true. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. Uh, these are George Soros. Um, these are George Soros group protesters. Brack Petrosha says she is all a volunteer. She, everyone she works with at Surge. She says she's a member of Surge affiliate groundwork organization Madison for 10 years. She's a communist. Said violence against peaceful protesters at Trump events has been, become more common as time has passed. Well, that is a lie because these protesters have not been uh, peaceful. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. Monday's rally supports on an online petition that calls for the Holiday Inn to cancel Trump's event, she said. I'm just going to use she said because that name is too hard. Some will say that canceling a rally is a free speech issue, but the First Amendment does not tolerate hate speech, including Trump's anti-immigrant and anti-Muslim speech, she said. That is incredible bullshit. That is a lie. A lot of us think that this was the beginning of Hitler's rise of power in Germany. How many of us sit by the sidelines and do nothing, she said. If we can prevent violence, he is inciting from taking hold and become stronger in these coming months. Then we've done our job. This is a real nut job, alright? She is a communist and an anti-American. She's an anti-American Sandinista. Those attending Monday's demonstration brought signs and messages such as "No hate in our state," "Stop hate," "Stop Trump," and "White people against hate." But I'm getting about sick of this. You know, I got news for you, uh, leftist pinko commie protesters. Trump has every right to run for uh, president. It's you people who have been inciting violence. It's you people who have been breaking the laws. It's you people who have been blocking the roadways. Not Trump. It's you people who have been threatening Trump online. If it were up to me, the entire lot of you American Sandinistas would be behind bars. I'm getting sick and tired of this. It's time we uh, started enforcing the law and start busting some of these people. I'll tell you how to put a big dent in this. George Soros should be arrested immediately and charged with sedition. It is my personal opinion that he should spend the rest of his natural life in prison. George Soros is behind this. Janesville Conference Center's venue chosen by Trump campaign to hold town hall meeting. George Bush and Paul Ryan, among, are among other politicians, have held events here. We offer no interpretation nor endorsement of any political message. It's from the Holiday Inn. So there you go. The American Sandinistas are uh, just following him from place to place. And they. They have no intention of giving up. 
that they don't recognize his right to be a legitimate candidate. These are communists. They hate freedom. They hate America. They hate representative government. And they'll stop at nothing. Uh, I don't like everything about Trump, but he's the best man for the job. And I don't like communists. Period. These are Sandinista communists, sure as I'm sitting here. They're not the Sandinistas of Nicaragua. They're the same thing. Same basic thing. They're only going to get more violent and more radical as time goes on. I am Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. I'm disgusted. This is going on.